First at noon, Portland fire crews had no choice but to let a 115-year-old building burn to the ground this morning. The four-alarm fire brought dozens of firefighters to the scene at Southeast 9th and Alder. Fox 12's Deborah Gill is there with why fire crews called it a problem building. Portland fires say they have responded to this building many times over the years. The most recent time before today was in July, but this time they couldn't save it. The first crews arrived just before 1230 this morning and found heavy flames. They called four alarms to bring in additional help and focused their attention on the two adjoining buildings and saved them both. The large building had been vacant for many years, but just in case, firefighters searched the basement until it became too dangerous for them. Conditions changed and part of it collapsed. Crews continued to douse the building with water but could not reach all of the fire and couldn't put it out. More of the building collapsed later in the morning and crews continued to let it burn. I don't know how to say it, but uh, I had a lot of memories in there. John Emmett worked in the building when it was a warehouse at just 14 years old. Now at 78, he works across the street from it at Napa Auto Parts. I was really on my way to work when Graham called and said the building across the street's on fire and he said we're closed. So I thought I'd come down and just you'll be a gawker. Other hazards firefighters faced were the sidewalk collapsing over the basement as well as energized power lines coming down. No word yet on what may have started the fire, and the investigator is asking anyone who may have seen something or has video of when it started to call their tip line at 503-823-INFO. I'm often wondering why they didn't tear it down. Portland Fire says it was best to let it burn down, and then once collapse, that would help smother some of the fire, and then they could dump water on all of it to get it out. In Southeast Portland, Deborah Gill, Fox 12, Oregon.